tactical advantage I need. Lord Megatron. Shockwave! This is quite an unexpected turn. I thought you'd perished on Cybertron. Yes, as, as did we all. Reports of my demise were greatly premature. A pair of Autobots infiltrated my facility on Cybertron, sabotaging my space bridge. I gave chase, but failed to accurately calculate the outcome. in the rubble, blinded. It soon became clear that I was marooned on our dead planet with no means of communication. In time, I repaired my wounds and resumed my experiments. The solitude enabled me to make tremendous advances in my research. Until one day, my instruments detected a massive surge of unidentifiable energy. I traveled to investigate its origin at the edge of the Sea of Rust, where I encountered your salvage team and the smoldering wreckage of the Omega Lock. But this was not the search party I had anticipated so long ago. <laughs> Leaving one unanswered question. Why was I left for scrap? Abandoned. Why? The, the, the explosion! It, it collapsed the power core chamber. The last thing anyone witnessed was you charging into the space bridge portal. No one saw you come back out! I find your reply to be... logical. <sighs> but you will be pleased to know that I avenged your seeming demise by personally terminating the Autobot cliff jumper. <laughs> Careful, Starscream. You may dislocate a landing gear, patting yourself on the back. As Megatron's first lieutenant, allow me to welcome you back to the winning team. And allow me to clarify the new chain of command. While Starscream will retain authority over military operations, Shockwave will be my first lieutenant in charge of all scientific endeavors. So, you are saying we shall each report directly to you? Affirmative. <sighs> Shockwave's toadying is so transparent. Megatron's respect is earned by deeds, not words. Useless, useless, useless. Billions of cameras in the hands of those miserable humans. One of them is bound to catch an Autobot eventually. <laughs> Well, well, well. What have we here? Lord Megatron, I have found something of great interest. <laughs> Wait, what? It was just here. Surely one of you saw it. Starscream, you would do well to take a cue from Soundwave on occasion and keep things to yourself. Vow of silence. Such a cop-out. Lord Megatron, surely our Autobot prisoner is a better source of information than this primitive data net. I will have you know, Shockwave, that I have been grinding Wheeljack down for days. If he knew anything, he would have spilled it by now. Again, some prove to be better at holding their tongues than others. Perhaps you would have better results if, instead of a club, you used a scalpel. I recommend a cortical psychic patch. Do your worst, Doc. I'm a wrecker. I can take it. Trust me. You, in fact, cannot. The patch failed to yield any new information on the whereabouts of the Autobots. Hmm, I see. Ah, then it would seem that Wheeljack has outlived his usefulness. Wheeljack is not the first prisoner to escape Starscream's care. Actually, Master, I allowed Wheeljack to escape. You what? But the Autobot's every move, his every word, 
will be monitored. Thanks to a simple tracking device implanted while the prisoner was still unconscious, following the failed cortical psychic patch. Is there no one who can bring me their heads? If I may, Lord Megatron, during my exile on Cybertron, I resumed work on a long dormant project. One that I believe may provide a solution to our current problem. Cybernucleic acid? The building blocks of all Cybertronian life. This hails from a specimen I excavated upon our planet and has yielded promising results. The Autobots continue to evade us. What makes you think we can afford to wait for the answer to our prayers to be birthed in some petri dish? You misunderstand. The subject has been fully cultivated. I need only be transported from my laboratory on Cybertron. Sent to you, my liege. The ultimate Autobot Hunter. Indeed. But the specimen you see before you was bred in the laboratory. Cloned from fossilized remains, which I discovered on Cybertron. Shockwave. It does my spark good to see you once again tampering with creation. Master, please. Keep your distance. No need for alarm. The beast is completely under my control. <sighs> Such primal magnificence. A sample of Energon from Wheeljack. Spilled during the Autobots' failed interrogation. And to make matters worse, because it cannot speak, we have no way of knowing why the Predacon failed so miserably. Poor, mute, mindless creature. I am in the process of deducing how they are infiltrating our communication systems without a base of... The Harbinger. You left abandoned Decepticon technology fully operational and unsecured! <laughs> Allow me to correct my oversight immediately. Open a ground bridge to the Harbinger. Ah. I assure you, Master, I have everything under control. Lord Megatron, I accept that military considerations are outside of my domain, but perhaps it is once again time to release the Predacon. Yes, that's right. Go off and sulk, why don't you?
way. I require a ground bridge. I mean, isn't it just a little preposterous? They are not the remains of Predacon, Starscream, but rather the remains of Predacon clones. For you see, our recent Autobot Hunter wasn't the first bestial super soldier Shockwave ever attempted to breed from prehistoric matter. During the war for Cybertron, I sanctioned the dispatch of a small army of these Predacon clones to Earth to unleash the beasts on unwitting Autobot forces stationed here. Once they accomplished their mission, the surviving Predacons held Sentinel on this very world for ages to come, guarding the Energon reserves they had managed to secure while awaiting my arrival. Of course, our reunion here was much delayed, and it would seem we lost the beasts to the ravages of time. But not their endomatter from which I am logically able to extract their very CNA. <laughs> Another scavenger hunt. How logical would it really be to locate all the dusty remains of your former pets? You are not suggesting that I would send my creations to a distant planet without first having them microchipped? Well, well, I was. But seriously, you did? was that? why he's a prime.
have all that we need. Shockwave. I understand that you engaged Optimus Prime in the field. Only in order to secure the specimen, Lord Megatron. I believed that you had perished once, my most prized engineer. And I highly doubt that Project Predacon can be completed without you. I shall leave the fetching of bones to Starscream and confine myself to my laboratory in order to accelerate results. I mean, not even the lone beast we had was compact enough to stroll these corridors without tearing them asunder. Which reminds me, I am so very sorry for your loss. I was referring to my off-site laboratory, which we have erected expressly for the cloning procedures. Uh, you think of everything, don't you? We are under attack! Autobots? Illogical. Though there appears to be an enormous mass upon the upper hull. How did it find us? Predacons possess precise homing instincts. And astonishing resilience. Starscream, assume command of my beast. <laughs> Me, Master? I mean, I wouldn't dream of seizing such an honor from its very creator. Military command of the Predacon is most logical, since my services are required elsewhere. The Predacon clones have almost fully evolved and will be combat ready within three solar cycles. Well done, Shockwave. Knockout! I'm waiting. Synthetic Energon. Troops will be delivering my remaining supply to you. I will determine its value after Lord Megatron's Predacon army is ready for deployment. Unruly beast! You dare to roam freely without permission! <laughs> I did not realize that the beast was capable of transformation. Nor did I. I am no beast. The ability to transform is a fundamental part of Cybertronian biology. We simply possess no evidence that the Predacon species ever reached that evolutionary stage since they became extinct in the Great Cataclysm. And now we know. <sighs> so, the rumors are true. I will no longer be alone. And I see you've been keeping secrets. It was not my intention to deceive you, Lord Megatron. I only recently became aware of my abilities. All I remember of my beginning is hunting. And battle and the wounding of my pride. Thus I begun to burn with questions. Who am I? Where did I come from? The warship's databanks provided historical fact, but still I possess no memory of my own past. So I began to reconsider my place in the present and wondered, could I be like the others? And now I know. Yet you are unique. Miracle science! Cloned by Shockwave from cybernucleic acid, recovered from the remains of your mighty ancestors. It is with deepest gratitude for my creation that I pledge undying obedience to you, my one true master. A former beast may fully believe himself to be a loyal servant today. But trust me, a 
moment our royal highness realizes that his army possesses greater might than what currently remains of the Decepticons. Evolution will give way to revolution. Lord Megatron, you're not saying you intend to pull the plug on Shockwave's beloved Project Predacon. Your conclusion is most logical, my liege. <laughs> Starscream, the Autobots have arrived. You did not inform me that your plan was already in motion. Only so the whole affair would appear less staged. I have yet to purge my lab of sensitive materials. Then do not let me keep you, Shockwave. Over and out. You scrapped him on purpose, didn't you? Southwave, I require an immediate ground bridge. Shockwave, report! It is true, my liege. Project Predacon has been rendered null and void. At least I have been unable to recover any beast forms. However, there is something you must behold for yourself. Pure Cybertronian cybermatter. Not unlike that which once existed upon our primeval homeworld. Or that which engendered my citadel here on Earth. The result of the explosion? Indeed. Yet the cybernucleic acid alone cannot account for these cyberforms. All possible logic points to the presence of one unexpected variable. Synthetic energon. Simply put, this combination of elements could allow us to cyberform entire worlds. <sighs> Why do I feel a shockwave plan coming on? Do not think for a moment, Starscream, that it has gone unnoticed that you left me at the mercy of the Autobots. Master! Are you going to allow one lieutenant to harm another? Master? I'm thinking. I am tempted to force you to share my perception of things. No! I only did what I thought was best for the mission. But I do feel compelled to add that it was my very error in judgment that made this happy accident possible. If I recollect, you were seeking to purge your laboratory of sensitive materials before the Autobots arrived, were you not? Your argument is logical. Exemplary teamwork. Now tell me, Shockwave, why does this cyber matter resemble chaos? The basic elements are apparently unstable. I will turn my attention to correcting that. <sighs> Nevertheless, should we use this cyber matter to restore Cybertron or Cyberform Earth, we would require a launch mechanism, would we not? Then we will focus all our remaining resources upon the successful reconstruction of the Omega Lock. We salvaged much of the wreckage of the Omega Lock, but the damage was quite severe. I would urge the selective use of Earth technology. Retrofitting its operating systems will be more efficient than rebuilding from scratch. Then do provide Starscream with your wish list. Since Shockwave must turn his attention to the stabilization of our cyber matter, you will be in charge of acquisitions. Lord Megatron, I have determined that the synthetic energon formula provided by Knockout is the source of the instability, simply because it is incomplete. Then make haste and complete it. We will not only require enough cyber matter to rebuild one planet, but to remake a second. Master, excuse my impudence, but what is the logic behind ruling two worlds? Are you not concerned about what our comrade might spill? 
Of one thing I'm certain. Soundwave knows when to impart information and when to withhold it. Lord Megatron, I have located the one item upon this world which possesses enough raw tonnage to power the reconstructed Omega Lock, a particle collider synchrotron. Excellent, Shockwave. However, the successful completion of the synthetic Energon formula is proving to be far more difficult than anticipated. Knockout first procured this unfinished shamble from the Autobot medic, did he not? That is my understanding. Then the most efficient means to an end may very well be to recruit that medic. Attempting to abduct the one Autobot who rarely leaves their base. A base we have yet to locate it may prove to be a challenge. You forget that we currently have an agent within the Autobot base. Laserbeak could reconnect with Soundwave and upload his directive to him. Which would still require knowing the location of their base. It is my understanding that Soundwave kept surveillance records of more than just the human children. one-handed Autobot. I'll take one bum hand over one good eye any day. Commander, objective secured. Now might be a fine time for surrender. A logical assumption, were it not for... Shockwave does not require your cooperation to siphon your knowledge, Doctor. Only confirmation that the synthetic Energon formula is unstable, and that the Autobot medic's work on it remains incomplete. Hmm. Do I look like hired help to you, Autobot? Knockout. Attend to the needs of our esteemed guest. As you command. So we know this cyber matter to be produced by an atypical molecular displacement reaction. Extensive empirical evidence indicates the fundamental instability within the synthen formulation to be the cause. Double-blind analysis? Naturally. The results only confirmed my original hypothesis. Once the erroneous variable has been corrected for, the stabilized synthetic material will bind properly with cyber nucleic acid. And produce a stable form of cyber matter. Remarkable. Yes. Quite an act of providence. And to think that had we not let you destroy the beasts, none of this would be possible. Let? Uh, what I meant to say was, those specimens you requested earlier aren't going to prepare themselves, are they? There is much to do in little time, Doctor. Shall we get back to work? Certainly. Knockout. I require a fresh CNA sample. Assembly of the Omega Lock is entering the final stage. Your guidance is required. Understood, my leash. Knockout. Supervise our guest in my absence. Wow, thanks for the big vote of confidence. Spectrum analysis confirms that the synthetic energon is stable. The formula is now complete. And your timetable for production? 
with the aid of hyper-acceleration technology. Not long. Oh, a pity you won't live long enough to witness the fruits of your labor. Lord Megatron, synthesis of the cybermatter required to cyberform Earth has commenced. Shut it down, Shockwave. I cannot allow you to harm Earth. The planet will not be harmed, only its indigenous life forms. Over my sparkless husk. <laughs> Megatron, the Omega Lock is fueled and ready. Optimus, catch! Smoke screen! No! I will avenge you, master! Starscream, do not be a fool! Curse you on your logic! Articulator is digging into my lateral flexor. Do you intend to whine for the duration of the voyage?